Oscar definitely inspires me. He's just a very happy, positive cat that wants to play all the time, is purring all the time. There is very little to dislike. There is, there is no negative consequence to this. Hi, I'm Mick Zalowski, and my cats are Oscar the Blind Cat and Klaus. They really take care and protect one another. Oscar has very strong senses that really help him navigate. When you see him interact and play, especially like in a new environment, both ears kind of start facing forward so he can pinpoint the source of the sound very well. He has an amazing memory. He makes all of the proper, you know, turns, you know, 10 steps, take a left, go another five steps, take a right, and, and he doesn't bump into anything at all. He blew away whatever expectations we had for his happiness within the first day he was home. With cats, they do just, you know, silly, goofy, unpredictable things, and they're just uh, maybe the most common unifying language in the world is sitting down over a cat video. You really cannot stage those moments. The reason why we resonate with these cats is because they are just, you know, it's accidental. Real, authentic, they're just living their lives and they don't really care about becoming famous. You can't fake the, you know, the cuteness or kind of the heartfelt, you know, awe moments. The first time we picked him up we knew there was something different, you know, his eyes never fully developed. They said that he's completely blind. Oscar was adopted in July of um, uh, 2011 just by complete accident. I responded to a Craigslist ad um, for a vintage auto harp. He happened to uh, mention to us uh, that he has a kitten if you want to take it, you want to take a kitten home with you. He was outside living on a farm. Um, you know, there was a lot of danger from, from predators. It wasn't a very good environment for him. Bethany, my wife, picked him up and kind of turned him upside down and kind of cradled him. I think we both knew, you know, just as a gut feeling that he had to come home with us no matter what. After we had him uh, for about four months, he started this kind of crazy behavior where my wife Bethany would blow dry her hair. He started reaching up and kind of, you know, batting at it a little bit and started going crazy after a while. It is amazing that he can just do these amazingly cute things and kind of doesn't give a care that he is blind. It's just like, dude, I can rock this. He stood up on his hind legs and, you know, he stood up for, you know, 30 seconds or whatever. We threw it on YouTube just to share with friends and family, shared it on our own Facebook page and you know, through the magic of the internet, you know, one person shares it with another and a few people share it here. By the time we knew it, we started getting a lot of hits, you know, 3,000 hits after a week had you know, 50,000 and all of a sudden 100,000. We just kind of realized what power you know, that social media has. I think the internet likes authenticity, so they're going to like something that's really natural and just kind of surprising versus something that seems more well thought out. A lot of people had questions about Oscar, is he really blind, you know, or like what's the story there? So I edited very quickly the clips of his first experience in that synthetic indoor environment the day we brought him home. That footage all of a sudden started to resonate with people as well. I think that's a very human thing to want, you know, a nice, good, like, background story for something you love. It just has to be this strange spark. It turned into something really good. Frisky's put together this cool take on the Oscars, but it's all cat videos. The grand prize winner of the Friskies is... Oscars First Toys. Oscars First Toys! Mick, Mick! Absolutely the best experience ever we won. I mean, we couldn't be happier about that. The best part of it is quarter million cans of Friskies were donated to shelters in need. You gotta feel good about that. We use Facebook as the homepage. It's the most interactive means of sharing content and having a user base that's engaged. In addition to Facebook, of course, YouTube is a perfect vehicle for sharing. We have a, a web store that we launched in August of last year, which is oscarandklaus.com. We really wanted to um, set up our system in a way where proceeds from all of our sales can help and benefit other cats that are in a situation similar to what you know, Klaus and Oscar were in. You know, it's such a positive, happy story that, that people cannot help but root, you know, for, for that underdog, for the little farm cat that, you know, now lives in Overlook, Seattle, you know. A good story behind a viral animal only makes it more viral. This experience that we're showing on Facebook and YouTube what are you doing? is really what it's like to be a pet owner, an animal lover, and a person that cares, you know. Being naughty? I think instinctually, you just like, you would like to feel good. I think that's a, a good rule of thumb. The, most powerful message that 
we send you know, through Oscar is that being born with some sort of disability certainly isn't a, you know, a death certificate. Absolutely every animal that you adopt, that you invest the love and the care um, and you know, give them the attention that they require, you know, you're going to get it back tenfold. You know, maybe not a YouTube superstar, but you'll have you know, an animal that will absolutely change your life for the better.